Sometimes a picture speaks louder than words. For these teen ballerinas, point accomplished. Um, I think with bringing in the ballet and like the ballerina aspect of it, it um, sparks people's curiosity. In their hometown of Richmond, Virginia, what's recently taken center stage is a controversial statue of Robert E. Lee. We had went to take pictures because we knew the statue was coming down and we definitely are the type of family to go record everything, like record historical moments. 14 year olds Kennedy George and Ava Holloway have been friends since they were three years old. They met in dance class, a sport they were inspired to pursue because of their older siblings. We started when we were really young, so I think we just, we grew up with it. It's very challenging, but it's also very rewarding. Ballet is definitely about having like a good attitude and the way you act definitely helps the way that you dance. The dancers wanted to be a part of a big moment in their city's history. When you were taking those photos, what did you hope to accomplish, Eva? I had seen the protests going on and I had known what the movement was about, but honestly, I would just take the photos so that we would have a record of what would soon be gone from Richmond. Yeah, and we wanted to capture that moment. Yeah, and what we're like moving away from, because as you know, we're like the former capital of the, the Confederates. So I feel like we're definitely becoming more modern and we're definitely moving away from that. So we just went to capture the last glimpse of the past. Tell me about what you know about Robert E. Lee and that statue in your community. We knew that he was a Confederate, um, he was leader of the Confederate um, Army. Did you learn about Robert E. Lee in school in history class? It's around like the fourth grade is when I learned about him. I learned about it in second grade and then we just keep, I mean, we revisit it every year. And what does he represent to you? I definitely feel like a statue is for someone that does good things and that's been a good person. And I feel like that just wasn't represented in his monument. For me, he like, he represents like slavery. Robert E. Lee, who was from Virginia, was the commander of the Confederate States Army during the American Civil War. In that conflict, 11 Confederate states wanted to separate from the rest of the country in order to keep slavery legal. The statue of Robert E. Lee was erected in 1890 and is owned by the state of Virginia. For more than 100 years, it has represented racism to so many people because of what Robert E. Lee stood for. A judge recently extended an injunction barring the state from removing it. But Virginia's governor promises it will come down. But I just want to uh, make sure that all Virginians know uh, that uh, as soon as we can, uh, as soon as we get through the, the court's uh, processes, the Robert E. Lee statue will be removed from Monument Avenue in Richmond. So when the Virginia governor announced because of these protests that this statue is going to come down, how did that make you both feel? It made me feel like accomplished in some way because like these protests are meaning something and they're doing things to make change. It's how many mothers have to cry? Die. For Ava and Kennedy, one new change they will see immediately that impacts them. A more diverse color palette of point shoes, dance brands Capizio and Block announced recently. Until now, Kennedy shares the lens she took to get her point shoes to match her skin tone. And I had to find this foundation that matched me and I had to apply uh, the foundation with the makeup brush and it took so long and I had to make a lot of layers on it. It was a lot of hard work. And so now here's these dance shoe brands who are saying we're going to make more inclusive colors of point shoes so that you won't have to do that. So that must that must be amazing to hear. That means a lot to me actually. It's it's really um, exciting that it's you can see that the world is changing, the dance community is changing. Um, it's just it's including everybody. Equality, a point these teens have been advocating for. I'm Lee Sheps for Inside Edition Digital.